What's up? This is part one on how to build a live streaming server. In this part, we're going to build a server that can take a stream from OBS and then that stream can be watched over RTMP. Once that's done, we're going to secure the server with another authentication server that checks the stream key so that only the owner can publish a stream. Here's what it looks like. We're building a Docker Compose file with two services. One is the Nginx server, which will take our stream from OBS and deliver it to our audience. And the other is a node server that will perform authentication. As a note, only in part one will you need to use VLC or a similar program to watch the stream. In the next video, we'll encode the stream to HLS so that you can watch it from a website. Also, as a reminder, we now have a Discord. So if at any time you're stuck, you can join our Discord, ask your question, and hopefully me or someone else can answer it for you. You can find an invite in the description below. First, we'll need to install Docker. We need this so the rest of the tutorial will be simple for any OS, whether it's Windows, Mac, or Linux. Next, let's install OBS. We need this to create our stream. It's the go-to program used by most Twitch and YouTube live streamers. Lastly, we'll need to install VLC. Many of you might not know about VLC, but it's probably the best free media player out there. It can handle almost any media format and we'll be using it to play the live stream. And for Windows users, you'll need WSL. And when you're done setting that up, go into Docker and turn on the WSL integration with Ubuntu. Okay, so to start, I've created the live stream part one folder. So let's open up VS Code. And then since we'll be putting together a few Docker images, uh, we'll start with Docker Compose that. So this is a Docker Compose YAML where we can define our Docker or various Docker images and files. So this will be version uh, 3.9 services. Uh, so our first service will be the RTMP. Uh, and uh, we're going to build it off the RTMP folder. Uh, it'll have ports 1935. This is where the Nginx server will be running, what port the Nginx server will be running on. And lastly, we'll name it RTMP server. Save. Okay. So since we've defined that we're going to build it off this folder, let's create that folder, TMP, and then we need to define our Docker file. So Docker file. Okay, so this is the Docker image we're going to be starting with, Nginx RTMP. So it's a Nginx server that already has the RTMP module installed. So we can use this as a starting point. Uh, the readme is super helpful. I recommend you like go through this, check it out, test it yourself but we're going to be starting from this extending section. So this is their starting Docker, uh, Docker file for us. So let's copy that. So all this does is it starts from their Docker image and then lets us copy our own, uh, Nginx configuration file into the Docker image. So if we're going to copy our own. We need to create one. So here I create Nginx. Um, and they give us a good starting point. So uh, let's start there too. Let's copy that back. Cool. So we've got our own uh, Nginx configuration file. Our Docker file is taking that and then putting it into the image they gave us. Uh, and our Docker Compose YAML file will build and run this Docker image. So in order to do that, we run docker compose build. Okay. Now to run it, docker compose up. Okay, so the RTMP server is running now. So now we can put everything down. Now we open up OBS. Let me turn on my other camera. Okay, so we've got OBS open up here and I've added our, I've already added my camera. So we'll just go to settings and stream. And then here I've already set it up, but it's the server is set to, uh, RTMP colon slash localhost 1935 slash live. 
it's slash live because in our configuration here, um, our application is called live. And then the stream key is test. Um, it doesn't really matter what this is. Uh, it'll just be the name of the URL from uh, you use to watch the stream. So that's all set up. And then we'll hit start streaming. So now this is streaming a live video from UBS to our RTMP uh, server. And as you can see here, it's live. So now in order to watch the stream, we're gonna open up VLC, go to media, open network. And then here it's the URL for the server we had in, uh, that we also put in OBS. And then the stream key is the last bit here. Uh, and so we'll hit play. And so you should see the video of the stream. I'm on VLC soon. There it is. I don't know why I'm out of focus, but I'll just hold on. Anyway, um, I can't miss deciding not to focus, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so we've got a stream coming from uh, OBS going to our server, uh, and then we are watching it through uh, VLC here. So that is the basic setup so far. Here's a diagram of what we've built so far. Notice that the stream key test is needed to watch the stream. If we were to deploy this project, then anyone watching could hijack the stream using our stream key. So we'll need to secure the stream and that's where our authentication server comes in. We're going to change our stream key to be the username of the person streaming and then require that they give a key as a secret password. We'll then configure Nginx so that it checks with our auth server before allowing the stream to be published. Okay, so for this next part, we're going to be creating our authentication server. And what that will be is a express server. First, we'll start with the Docker Compose. So we're gonna create a new service, auth. It's going to build off of the slash auth folder. Uh, we're not gonna expose any ports because we only want the RTMP server to be using this uh, authentication server. Um, so we're not gonna expose the ports for anyone to use. So we'll just set the container name to auth underscore server. Now, since we're building off the auth folder, we'll be creating a folder in the auth, and this is where we will build the express server. So in there, cb auth. Now start the npm project. So in the net, name it auth, press enter. All right, uh, we only need two different uh, packages. That's install, save, friendly, express, and nodemon. Okay. Now let's open the package JSON here. Oops. Get rid of this. Go into scripts. Uh, start. And it'll be nodemon uh, server.js. Yeah. Okay. So uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. Um, I'm not gonna write out the our server line by line. Um, I'm gonna copy it over from my reference here. Slash auth server. Cool. But I will go over what it says. So. Here's our express server. Uh, so first we require express, generate the app. And then what this does is when we get a request from Nginx, we will parse the host body. Well, actually first I should explain how this authentication is actually gonna work. So we go to our configuration here and in our live server here. So how would the authentication server actually work? So we're going to be using the on publish directive and we're gonna, and it takes a URL. So that URL is HTTP uh, auth server colon thousand slash auth. So I'm gonna explain in a moment why we use this little name here. So we call it auth server because it's the networking in Docker. So in our Docker compose here, we named it auth server. 
So in order to access this, there's no really local host. You access it through the uh, other containers name because they're not on the same container. They're in two different containers communicating to each other over Docker Compose. So that's why this is auth server and not localhost. And then 8,000 is the port of our uh, auth server and then slash auth is the endpoint. So the way this direct directive works is when a new stream is published to RTMP, the uh, Nginx server will first post to this server and then if it returns a 200 status, then it accepts the stream. And if it is a anything else, uh, like a 400 or 500, then it will reject the stream. So the way this will work is uh, the RTMP server will give a stream key to this endpoint, and then we'll check if that matches our real stream key, and then we'll accept it if it matches, and reject it if not. Uh, it might be a little bit clear if I go over the server again. So once it once they post to slash auth, we take the stream key from the body here, so dot body dot key. And then uh, I've hard coded a password here to just make things simple. You could actually make a like database request to a list of users and compare their stream key. So I just made it super simple here uh, to get started with. So if it matches super secret, then we return the 200 status. Otherwise we set 403 forbidden status back to it. Let's first run this locally to see if it works. Okay, so npm start, it's running. Cool. All right, so, but in order to get this to work in our Docker Compose, we need to create a Docker image out of this authentication server. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit again and uh, copy it from my reference here. Part one, Oops. ref slash off slash Docker file. Well, so this new Docker file here. Okay, so it starts from the node image, node version 12. We create a working directory in the image slash user source app. This does, this isn't really important just so much as you make a working directory. Uh, we're gonna copy over our package JSON to it. We're gonna run npm install. We're gonna copy over our server.js file. And then to when the Docker image is starting, we'll run npm start. So you already get this running now. Uh, first, we go back, do docker compose build. And now it's building the auth server as well. So now we do docker compose auth. Okay, so now with docker compose up, we've got the RTMP server running and we've got the authentication server running. Uh, what we expect is when I publish to OBS, so the Nginx server will first send a post request to our authentication server and check to see if the stream key that we get equals super secret. And if it equals 200, accept the stream. And if not, then it'll return 403 and reject the stream. So let's test this out. Got OBS up, turn on the camera again. Okay, it's deciding to focus now. Uh, that's good, so let's set the settings. So first, let's get the wrong stream key here. So first, I'll name stream key test opti. That'll be like my user. And then question mark, we'll set the, and then the parameter where our key comes from is here. So question mark key equals, and then to first test to see if it rejects the wrong strip key, we'll write wrong here to apply. Okay. Then we hit start streaming. Perfect. So it failed to connect the server because uh, we sent them the wrong stream key. Now, if we set the stream key, uh, to have a key of super secret, 
So I'm hoping this will work now. So cut OK. Start streaming. OK, so maybe we messed up here. And so let's debug it. Ah, OK. So unexpected curly brace and GenX. Ah, uh, I know. So I forgot a semicolon here. So with that fixed, cancel. Uh, and then Dr. Compose build again. And then Docker compose up. Cool. We don't see that error anymore. So awesome. So it's down. Now let's let's try again with okay, so now we'll try the correct key. So start streaming. Okay, we're live. And then just to double check, we'll play uh the stream here. So remember back that I I set the stream key to obdi question mark key equals super secret. So now to watch it, all you need to go to is slash live slash obdi di. See obdi play. Okay. It's working now. Uh, okay, so we'll stop streaming. And then now let's see if it rejects the stream if I give it the wrong stream key. Super secret, it's right, wrong. Okay, start streaming. Okay. Sweet. Could not access specified. Please double check your stream key. Perfect. So it's basically telling us we failed to connect because our stream key is wrong. And so that's exactly what we wanted to happen. That's it for now. In the next video, I'll be changing the encoding from RTMP to HLS so that we can actually view the stream on a website instead of using the VLC program. So if you've gotten this far, thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment what you thought. If you need any help, make sure to join the Discord. There's a link in the description, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.